Hello friends, Drives here with another guide. This time I'm gonna talk about another three combat skills called Slinger, Archer and Ranger. So there are exactly three ways you can level each of these skills. The most uh, basic a uh, primitive way is to just take your slingshot for example and uh, hit a training dummy like this. Uh, but as you can see, I'm already getting this message. You can uh, train combat skill above 60 on training target. <clears throat> and it actually takes forever to reach even level uh, 30 with it. Because you don't get a lot of experience this way. Uh, but you can do this training uh, way much more effectively by doing excellent shots. Which I will show you in a moment. Uh, as far as I know, there are like four gradations of uh, good shots. Uh, basically, bad shot when you uh, shoot real close up, then good shot uh, when you do this, I think from about 10 tiles away, uh, then you can get a great shot, and then uh, I think it's 15 tiles away, or maybe 20, I'm not sure about uh, tiles amounts, and the last one is an excellent shot. The better shot you do, the more experience you get. I will show you how to achieve an excellent shot, basically all you need to do is stack a lot of uh, practice targets on top of each other to create a big ass square so you won't miss but uh, leveling your slinger for example is not re isn't really uh, an option with that way because it's super hard to do an excellent shot due to random to total randomness of how it goes so i think the best you can do is achieve great shot or maybe even a good shot but that should be good enough for you to reach level 30 and here you can see the list of how much experience you can get from every type of shot be that good shot, great shot, excellent shot or how much you get from hitting another living being another way is obviously to hit your friend as you can see we are already in team or in, in the unit so and he's standing holding shield this way I won't deal any damage to him but I will still level my, uh, my skill and when you hit it like this as you can see, my slinger increased, even though I hit, uh, well, I didn't de deal any damage to him. Because uh, hitting li living targets is much more effective than training dummies. So if you have a friend who can, who is free and can hold shield for you, or you have a second account and you can macro it like I did right now, this is the best way to go. This is really effective, uh, maybe even more so than uh, doing excellent shots, because you don't need to worry about it, you just stand with, as you can see, he's standing with a primitive shield, and he's actually leveling his footman skill, because I'm hitting his shield, as you can see over here. So you can, so you basically just stand here, here and hit him. So this is obviously another great way to level your ranger skill. It's, it's the same for all three skills, to reach 30. Now, when you reach level 30, there is even better way of leveling each of those skills. And that's having gear equipped it and having your friend punch you. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm, uh, I equipped laser gear on me, laser set. Uh, this is... Oh, I, I should have something from the slinger. <laughs> well, I prefer to have uh, gloves and one braces. This usually is enough. And breastplate of some kind so then you stand in a fighting stance like this uh, because when you're in fighting stance you actually receive less damage for some reason I have no idea why maybe because you kind of prepared for it I'm not sure so as you can see I will punch myself right now hmm. like this you can uh, go super close to like this oh, sorry yeah, as you can see, I'm dealing 0.2 damage only, super low, and I can macro it with MP like this, and then I'm going back, and as you can see, each hit increases my archery. It's super freaking good. <laughs> I mean, it's so effective, it's insane. Obviously, you can do this uh, with Slinger, when you reach level 30, you just need to equip Slinger set that I have right here. As you can see, uh, breastplate, gloves, bomb braces, and helmet. No point in it actually, but you get the drift. 
and uh, for Ranger it's much more difficult because obviously it's a little bit harder to get uh, tier 3 gear. Okay, let him stop. So, what you need to do, you need to have a Pavis, because uh, this is a shield basically for a uh, Ranger skill. So let me show you, uh, let me equip it for a moment. And the best way to level your ranger skill with Pavis isn't actually holding it like this so your friend can hit you. Because if you do it, you will go through your Pavises like crazy. You will need like, I don't know, uh, 100 of them to reach 90. The most effective way is just have a Pavis on your back. Uh, have some kind of breastplate. Obviously, uh, having a laser breastplate is great to level your archer if you want to reach archer level 90. So basically, uh, let's assume you have uh, 60, 60, and 30. You you equip laser breastplate for archery and a pavis. You will level two skills at the same time. Of course, if you have a breastplate from ranger tier 3 breastplate, it's even better. You will level your ranger skill like crazy. So then you stand like this back to your friend. You go to fighting stance, obviously, so that you receive less damage, like this. And then you have a, your friend, uh, you have, uh, well, you have, you have your friend to punch you in the back. This is a little bit more, too much damage. Okay, this is it. As you can see, I'm dealing 0.2 damage. This is the best way to level it. Uh, some people may advise you to have a torch and uh, hit you with a torch, so they deal demolition damage, which, yield, which deals even less damage, you will receive like uh, 0 0.1. But why I don't recommend doing it? Because torch, obviously you will break a torch, you will need another torch, that's one of them. But also because torch uh, con consumes much more stamina from you, and uh, he will hit you less times. And it also takes longer than a punch. As you can see, I have a delay of uh, 300 milliseconds. So I'm dealing actually 3 hits per second, which is really effective. And stamina is pretty good with him. So he can do this for a long, long time. And as you can see, I'm le uh, leveling two skills at the same time, Ranger and Archery. From each hit I'm getting, well, it's not much, but... Uh, I'm having super low food quality, I don't have power hour and I'm on fucking level 90, so what do you need to expect? This is the best way to level it. Of course I'm still losing a little bit of HP, so I would need to heal at some point, but it will take forever. And even though he hit me so much, as you can see, durability of Pevis almost doesn't go down. It's really good. So let me, let me stop this guy. Next, what I want to show you is the last bit about leveling these three ranger skills. Okay, here we go. Next, I want to explain to you mm -hmm, the difference between different arrows and basically quality of them. So, I will use composite bow, obviously you won't have one. You may use a light crossbow, but I prefer bows when I was leveling than crossbow, mostly because they're of their faster reload speed. So. It's, it, it's, I think it's a little bit faster for leveling, but you need to keep in mind that how much experience you get from the shot depends on how much damage you deal. So even if uh, reloading a bow is faster, crossbow deals more damage, so it's maybe a little bit better. But that's not the point of what I wanted to show you. What I, oh shit, sorry guys, so he stands really bad. Let's, okay, this is right. I will use a really low quality arrows as you can see 36 quality damage uh, when you an archer or ranger or slinger that most of the damage depends on quality of your armor of your arrows or sling stones I guess bolts stuff so with 36 quality I will deal not that much damage I will show you as you can see I'm getting well 0. Oh, 13 skill level per shot. Now, when I use a much better arrows like this once, I should get more experience because I should deal more damage. Because I'm shooting him in a shield, you don't see exact numbers of my damage, but I will show you in a moment. Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I, I got like 30% uh, more experience for a shot because I dealt more damage. So that you won't take my word for it and actually see what I'm talking about. Let me unequip his shield so I'm dealing actual damage. <clears throat> Here I'm going with the great arrows. I will hit him in an arm like this. As you can see, 
almost 20 slashing damage. And I got the same amount of experience. Now I'm using low quality arrows. Here we go. I dealt almost five, well, not almost, six damage, uh, five damage less. And I got the same expound experience as the, the time I hit him in the shield. And now when I use a freaking wooden arrows, someone actually asked me if they should use wooden arrows for leveling. You obviously can use them for leveling if you don't have iron at the beginning of the game, but this is why if you have iron, it's a bad idea. As you can see, I deal three times less damage. Uh, sorry, not three, three times. Yeah, three times. Yeah, three times less. And my experience is like insanely low. Only, wow, well, you see the numbers. <laughs> so, if you have an. Uh, so, this is what you need to understand. You, uh, you get more damage when you hit a living target, be that another character or an animal, compared to a training dummy. But if you manage to do an excellent shot, even training on training dummy, you will receive. Uh, more experience than actually hitting the living target. Next, uh, the, the main damage area matters because the more damage you deal, the more experience you get. And the last one, obviously, when you reach level 30, equip an armor of any kind and let your friend punch you. This way, you will level real fast. Obviously, having a good food quality or a power hour is a must have item things. That's basically it, guys. This is all you need to know about uh, leveling your ranger skills, like slinger archery or ranger. I hope I explained everything in depth enough, so now you know. And knowing is how the battle, as they say. Thanks for watching. See you later.